They are Canada's shadowy soldiers, their missions, tactics and techniques kept firmly out of the public eye. But as Canada's Special Forces Command marks its 10th anniversary this year, commanders are pulling back the curtain to reveal more about the capabilities and the soldiers who serve. At the sprawling military base in Petawawa, Ontario, new soldiers with the Canadian Special Operations Regiment practice an assault. This exercise comes at the end of 10 months of training to learn the skills needed to serve in the Special Forces. The regiment is one of the units that make up the Canadian Special Operations Forces Command. Other units include Joint Task Force 2, described as the jewel in the crown, along with a unit trained to respond to chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear incidents, and an Air Force squadron whose pilots have the flying skills to deliver the soldiers by helicopter to a target, often at night. Together, its soldiers describe a hectic lifestyle of deployments and training, but don't call them elite. Instead, they say they are just regular soldiers who do the basics very well. Shoot, move and communicate.